Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be following up from the previous tutorial and I'm going to be teaching you how to create an inventory system which is quick and easy. So first we're going to start by creating a, a user interface widget blueprint and we'll just call this inventory system. Double click it and we're going to need three things. We're going to need a button to start with. I'm just going to anchor it to the bottom of the page. Just do it 100 by 100 for now. Let's do two here. So it's just going to be there on the screen. Then inside that button, we're going to put a piece of text. So let's first name this um, medkit button. No, bottom button. And name this uh, medkit. What's another word for how many? Um, Amount, amount, that's the word I'm looking for. Medkit amount. Just put zero. Stick it out at the top. Just change this to. I'll change the color to black. Then. For now, I'm just going to put an image inside the box. Don't let me do it for some reason. That's better. At the moment it's not perfect, but we'll see how it goes. In reality, you'd have a picture of a medkit, so it would be smaller or a PNG. So let's just put that there. This is just for a show, so this one's not really important. Mouse has been a bit dodgy. Where's the other one gone? Just gonna make a plus sign. It's not gonna be perfect, but you get the gist of things. My mouse is really, really slow. I need to get a new one. So you understand what I'm trying to do here. Right, the button is the most important, and the medkit amount. So now we've got this. I'm just gonna change that. Don't like it. Let's change it red. Solid red, so it's a so you see the plus sign there, that's better, and then that's the number. Okay, mouse is spazzing out a little bit, and then from here, we're going to do a create a binding on the text. So, on content text, create binding. But what we first need to do is go into our third person character and create a variable, call it medkit amount. And we're going to change this to an integer. Once we've done that, we can go we can compile this. Go back to our inventory system. Then we're going to, from here, we're going to move that out a little bit. Cast to third person character. The game mode, character, cast. It could be third person or first person, as I said before. It's whatever your character's name is. So we're going to get player character. Then we're going to get the medkit amount from the third person character. So get medkit amount. Then from here we're going to write, we're going to hook it up right to there and convert it to text. 
compiled, save. Now we're going to go and code our button. So from here, we're going to go into our event graph and delete these as we don't need them. Drag out the medkit, no, not drag out. Oh, here it is, on click. So when you click the medkit button, we're going to tend to do a few things. First, we're going to cast it to our third person character. Get player character. We're then going to get the medkit amount. And we're going to use the less than or equals to symbol, which is this way, I'm sure. Then we're going to hook this up to a branch. In true will be, we're going to do a print string. And we're going to say, then we're going to say no medkits. So basically if this is true and we are equal or less than zero, it's going to be no medkits as we've not picked up any. Then again from here we're going to get full health this time and we're going to use the opposite symbols which is the check for is health bigger or equal to 100 and we get a branch. branch. Hook this up to false and print a string with true saying health is at 100. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our med kit, go into the event graph and we're going to copy these three items. Control C, Control V. We're going to hook this up. Hook this up to the third person character again and hook this up to false. And then hook this one up to third person character. Then what we're going to do is for this to work, we're going to have to get the medkit amount. So med, I forgot what I named it. Medkit amount, set medkit amount. So set medkit amount. Drag that down there hook this up to there and then because we're taking the medkit from the inventory we're going to have to minus it from the inventory from the medkit amount so as soon as we pick up a medkit it's going to go into the inventory and it's going to add one to the medkit amount and when we press the button it means that we're going to use it so then we're going to have to minus one from the amount that we currently have that should be all for the button now we're going to go into our third person character. So we're going to go into our med kit. And we're going from the from here, health is full. We're going to just delete this for now. And we're going to get the med kit amount. So we'll have to do it from here. Get the med kit amount. Then we're going to get the set med kit amount. And then what we're going to do, we're going to plus one. An integer plus integer. And that's already set as one. And if it's true, we're going to set. Set it there. I'm going to do print string. Medkit has gone to inventory inventory as the health is full that's why it would go into the inventory then we're just going to destroy the actor as we don't we want it to disappear and in essence go into the inventory so make sure you compile and save then we're going to go into our third person character and what we're going to do here is um, create the pop-up screen for the inventory so we're going to just create two boolean in integers so pause change it to a boolean and unpause save compile then what we're, what we're going to do is so when we press the just press i 
which I for inventory, so we'll just find that here. Okay. Hi, right there. Once it's pressed, we're gonna create a flip flop. And then we're gonna find the set game paused. Duplicate that. And then for one of these pause, we're gonna do the tick here. Drag that out, get pause, hook that into there, and do the same for this one. But this one should be unpaused without without a tick. And the default value should be the tick. Now what we're gonna do is create widget and add it to the viewport. So create widget, add to viewport. Then we'll just get the class, which is the not the, the inventory system. Move that up here. Then we're gonna set show mouse cursor. Mouse. We we'll have to take context and steer off. Set show mouse cursor. We need two of these. Then from here we're gonna get play controller. Hook that to the both of them. Then as we already have a HUD, we don't want our HUD interfering with the inventory systems. And the HUD being the health bar. So set that up, hook this up as well, sorry. And that's fine right there. We're gonna get all widgets of class. All widgets of class. And that should be the HUD. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this from parent, remove from parent, hook that up there. We're going to tick it on this one for the show mouse cursor. And then we're going to go around back to the start again. And we're going to get a remove from parent. And we're going to hook it up to this flip flop on the B. I'm just going to space these a bit apart so you can see what's actually going on. Bring that just there. Then we're going to hook this into this show mouse cursor. And then because we removed the HUD, when we've pressed I, when we press I again, we want to put the HUD back up. So copy and paste this same one that we, the, the create widget up here, the inventory system one. Then we're going to add that to the viewport, viewport once again. So copy and paste, add to viewport, now let's see if we compile it, should work fine, save, I'm just going to comment this, comment, and call it inventory system pop-up, save, compile, now if we go press play, we press I, it should pop up. Oh, I've not done that properly, hold on. I've not set the anchors right on the um on the image that I created, little image. But as I said, you can always make your own or put your own little image of something in there from Google or how you prefer to make stuff. So it's compile, save once again. And now, if you press play, press I, mouse cursor is here, you can press the button, it says no medkits. Pause, not pause, resume stop. So that's all working fine. Now, okay, we've got the medkits in here. Don't know why this firework's going on. Alright, so let's go. Medkit has to inventory. So okay, basically, it has gone to inventory, forgot what the word was. Now, there's a one there. And now, if, when you press it, it says health is at 100, so it's not applying any health. Let's try that. No. Oh, it's frozen a minute. Just give it a few seconds. No, it's not frozen. I don't think the flip flop's working. Let's see what's happening. Pause. Same, unpause. Oh, 
I need to set game unpaused. No, I found the issue. I'm here. Um, I've kept the inventory on screen. So you're supposed to change that, the class, to HUD, and save that. And this is still in the third person character. So on the inventory system pop up. So now it should work. Hopefully. So when you press I, pops up. You can't move. Press I again. Alright, it doesn't want to work. Well, I found the issue, and the issue is this. I forgot to tell you guys to take this issue to execute and pause. So basically, when the game is paused, you want to still be able to press the letter I, whereas everything else will be frozen. So compile, save. And now press play, press I. So we'll stop, press I again. Perfect. So now, as I was saying, run over to this. Run over to this one. Now we should have two in the inventory. Click health is at 100. Alright, now if you run over to this. Let's just damage yourself a bit more. Alright, we're damaged. So press I. Click once. So now it's gone into our character. And as you can see, the health has gone back up. Press it once more. No medkits. And the health is at full. Let me just show you again to duplicate and show you how. That it does work and it won't, it won't always go to the inventory so i think we are like i don't know two four eight twelve twelve inventories uh twelve med kits so the character is getting damaged now you found a med kit you found a med kit and that other uh, other med kit has gone to inventory so i think we picked up three and two went straight to the health bar so we should be left with one and that's right we're left with one in the Inventory. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damage ourselves. Seven. And obviously, you can't go over 100. You can keep the HUD on screen if you like. It's all person preference. But if you have too many things in your HUD, then what will happen is it will interfere but I'll show you how to keep the HUD anyway so that all works fine so there's your inventory inventory system done um, to to keep the HUD there so you can see the health moving when you apply it all we need to do is from here we won't need to get rid of the remove, remove this one from parent yep Add to viewport, we won't need to renew. I don't think we need this one. So compile. Sure, it's only that one. Play, press I, the health bar is still there. So now we're getting damaged. Grab these med kits. Stick these other ones in the. Oh no, I took too many. But Alright, let's just do it like this. <coughs> Go over here. There you go, you can see it working in action. Press I once again. You can set these medkits and the damage to however much you like, but it's just a generic damage taker really, which we can use. One, two, three. Health is at 100. Perfect. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want more episodes or... Um, more lessons on inventory systems let me know this is just a quick and easy inventory system as all the other ones out there take forever and come in loads of parts but this one is just clear and concise thank you for watching